Welcome back friends. Today we are going to be talking about tofu. When I first started eating plant-based, the thought of eating tofu grossed me out. The only tofu I had ever had would be like hmm, at some kind of Asian restaurant where it was like in a miso soup or something and it was always really like jiggly and and watery and, and wiggly and loose and I just, I could not handle the texture. I did not like it, I thought it was gross. But as I began learning more about the benefits of soy, I thought I should find a way to learn to like it. <laughs> so let's talk about how awesome soy is. Soy has been given a really bad rap. A lot of people avoid soy because they think that it raises their estrogen when actually Dairy products have far more of an effect on your estrogen levels than soy does. And in fact, soy, yes, does contain a phytoestrogen that actually has a protective role. We have two estrogen receptors on our cells. The estrogen receptor that dairy links to promotes um, growth and inflammation. And the estrogen receptor that plant estrogens um, hook to, so soy, um, actually um, produces an anti-inflammatory and causes um, tumors to shrink. So soy is really a really great thing to be including in your daily diet. So including more soy foods in your diet for women helps to regulate our hormones and protects us against um, reproductive cancers or cancers that are associated with our hormones. So breast cancer, ovarian cancer, cervical cancer, those types of things. It also is a really healthy plant protein. Um, for men, soy has been shown to reduce the risk of prostate cancer. And a lot of men worry that if they eat um, soy, it's gonna mess with their testosterone. That has not been um, proven to be the case. Um, it does not affect your testosterone. And again, healthy plant protein. Now. Um, Soy is really great for kids. It's a really healthy alternative alternative for kids who have um, some common food allergies. It's really rare to have a soy allergy. And if you do, if your kid does have a soy allergy, they generally will outgrow it by the age of 10. It's very protective for them as well to protect against cancer. And introducing soy foods to young girls actually helps them with their menstruation and to have healthy hormonal regulation as well. So plant-based doctors who study the reproductive system encourage girls to be introduced to soy products early so that it can really help them throughout their lives. So these are some ways that I have found that I actually enjoy eating soy and yes even tofu <laughs> so i buy the silk brand of organic unsweetened soy milk um, i use it whenever i want like a creamy kind of thicker um, milk in you know sometimes you'll like make an alfredo sauce or um, in my baked goods i also use it on my cereal and i just drink it sometimes because it tastes good um, I know that soy yogurt is a common thing. I don't eat a lot of yogurt in my home, so I actually haven't tried it, but I've heard great things about soy yogurt. If you eat a lot of yogurt, it would be great to switch over, or you can actually make your own in an instant pot. Um, I have found some organic smoked tofu at my grocery store, and it is so good. So this was the first tofu that I really tried to make at home that I really, really liked. So what I do is I buy um, packages of it at the store and I slice off smoked to tofu has kind of like a I don't know like an outside little casing that I cut off because it's just kind of thicker than what's on the inside of the packaging and so I cut off the outside edges and then I break it up into crumbles so that it looks like scrambled eggs and then I add my soy milk and some nutritional yeast and some yummy seasonings um, with salsa and spinach and I stir that all up and it kind of makes it taste to me what is seems similar to like a, a scrambled egg breakfast that I put in a, a wrap and I put my really yummy cilantro creamy cilantro dressing on it and I just eat it like a breakfast burrito um, multiple times throughout the week in fact my six-year-old probably eats that three or four times a week for his lunches he loves them so I'm gonna teach you how to make that in our recipe video that's coming up 
I've also found that I, if I kind of coat tofu in some kind of yummy coating and, and marinate it and bake it so that it's crispy and I can toss that like, make like a sticky orange cauliflower with some tofu in it over rice um, or any kind of stir fry like that, it's really, really yummy. I also hide it in things all the time. I make a, a homemade French toast where I use organic, very soft and silken tofu, about half of a block. And I put that in with some soy milk and then with some cinnamon and some sugar, put that in my blender and I use that to coat my bread for French toast. And nobody thinks it tastes weird. My family who does not eat plant-based loves eating it. Um, and it's a great way to get some extra healthy soy and plant protein in when I'm eating a yummy, delicious Sunday breakfast. <laughs> so, oh, it's also great to eat edamame. You can just steam it in your microwave, salt it, and just eat the soybeans. That's a great way to eat it as well. So find a couple ways that you can try um, some new ways to include soy into your diet each week so that you can enjoy its protective benefits.